Supernationalism by Viva Huda Yusuf, Bianca Soto, and Samantha Ritz. What is supernationalism? Supernationalism is a venture involving three or more national states working to promote shared objectives. And these objectives can be economy, military, and diplomacy. Examples of economic supernationalism include OPEC, NAFTA, and EU. Examples of cultural supernationalism include ICO. An example of military supernationalism includes NATO and Warsaw. European Union. The European Union EU is consisted of 28 nations. It was founded in Maastricht, Netherlands. The EU developed an internal single market through a standardized system of laws that apply in all member states. The EU has a standardized currency called Euro. It has proved inefficient to be during the Eurozone crisis when countries such as Ireland and Greece cannot pay their debts. All member states adopt this currency except Great Britain. The pounds had a higher value. The EU is run by five main bodies, European Parliament, Council of the Union, European Commission, Court of Justice, and the Court of Auditors. The success of EU is marked by free trade inspired through the European Economic Community, EEC, open border policies, and lack of working permits. Emblem of the EU. This is the flag of the EU. The symbol consists of 12 stars representing the people of Europe. The circle represents unity and the blue background stands for the sky of the Western world. African Union, or Organization of African Unity. The African Union consisted of all 54 states in Africa with the inclusion of Western Sahara due to their political conflicts. It was established in Addis Abeba, the capital of Ethiopia, and was created to seek to end, end colonialism and apartheid in Africa. The objectives of the AU includes peace and unity within Africa, strengthening of Africa's economy, and increased standards of life within Africa. The institution of the African Union includes the Assembly, the Executive Council, the Specialized Technical Committees, the Permanent Representative Committee, Peace and Security Council, the Pan-African Parliament, the Court of Justice, the Commission, and much more. Some issues that the African Union are experiencing are the problems with malaria and HIV and AIDS, desertification, and low standards of living. Emblem of Africa Union The symbol emblem of Africa Union is the map of Africa inside two circles with palm leaves surrounding the right and left outside of these circles. The palm leaves represent peace, while the golden color represents their wealth and future prosperity. Since the Africa map has no boundaries, this represents unity. The circles at the bottom of the emblem shows bloodshed for Africa's liberation. NAFTA NAFTA is an agreement signed by Canada, Mexico, and the United States, creating a trilateral trade in North America. The agreement came into force on January 1, 1994. NAFTA was created to strengthen its members' economies through the reduction of or removal of tariffs. The reduction of tariffs allow for increased trade activity as trade flourishes and businesses are more successful. Magladoras become abundant near the border of Mexico and the United States as the U.S. take advantage of the free trade policies through NAFTA and low-wage cheap labor in Mexico. What makes NAFTA as a supranational union is that it is made up of individual states working towards a common goal. Examples of different military supranationalisms NATO, military organization after World War II, prevents the USSR from overrunning West Germany and other small countries from, from converting to communism. It maintains bipolar power in Europe, containing 16 de democratic states, including US, Canada, and 14 other European states. Warsaw, after World War II, communist states joined together, but for allied states between the USSR and Germany to prevent invasion in the 20th century, Warsaw disbanded when Europe is no longer confronted with the USSR. The UN is an international organization founded in 1945 after World War II when 51 countries joined forces to maintain international peace and security, to develop friendly relations among nations and promoting social progresses, better living standards, and human rights. The United Nations has four goals. To secure peace throughout the world after failure of League of Nations couldn't prevent World War II. To increase social and economic development after the world economic crisis during the 1930s. To improve humanitarian rights after Hitler and the Nazis committed crimes against minority groups. To be a center for harmonizing the actions of nations to achieve these goals. 
The United Nations replaced League of Nations, an international organization developed after World War II due to, their, due to their failure to implement mutual security due to lack of enforcement military, and the U.S. wasn't part of the organization.